Hello friends, welcome to our channel Metallurgy Crisp. We'll see what is patenting. Patenting is a heat treatment which produces trostite and sorbite. And what are these? These are the finest possible palatic structure with the lowest interlamellar spacing. Trostite and sorbite, these are the names given for the structure with finest palatic structure. The interlamellar spacing is of the order of micrometers here. These structures give highest strength and toughness for that same composition. High toughness because a lot of obstacles for the crack growth and propagation. Friends, before looking at the process, just look at the general equation which gives us the interlamellar spacing between the ferrite and perlite in the, in the palladic matrix. So, this gives us interlamellar spacing is equals to 4 gamma Tm which is melting point divided by delta H and delta T. So, the interlamellar spacing is inversely proportional to delta T. If we want finer interlamellar spacing, we need to increase delta T. But up to what extent? Is there a limit to this delta T? This we are going to discuss while discussing the process. So let's start the process. Friends, this is TTT curve for plain carbon steels. We know the reason why this curve looks like C. Because in the temperature which is greater than the nose of a TTT curve, delta T controls the transformation. Higher the undercooling, faster the transformation. This is the incubation period. Higher the undercooling, we can see inc incubation, this we call delta T. If we increase delta T, the incubation period is reducing. So higher delta T, faster the transformation. But when we go to a temperature below the nose of the C curve, there is another important aspect which comes into the picture, which is difficulty of diffusion. This is the reason on further increasing delta T beyond C curve increases the incubation time. Here, how incubation time affects? The lower the incubation time, faster nucleation rate, which gives us a finer structure. So if we gradually increase in delta T up till the nose, the structure becomes finer and finer. But beyond the C curve, beyond the delta T greater than this, we are again losing the finest structure possible because the diffusion creates the difficulty for nucleation. So if we like look at the general equation, interlamellar spacing proportional to 1 by delta T is applicable until the nose of our TTT curve. Whenever we say interlamellar spacing is inversely proportional to the delta T, we presume we are in this area because it is difficult to produce such a higher cooling rates for plain carbon steels which will make us go to a temperature below the nose of C. So in general, whenever we say higher undercooling, delta T means undercooling. Higher undercooling, finer structure, we always presume we are in this region, we are in the upper part of, upper part of our TTT curve. So friends, as we know, delta T is applicable until this part. So from this point to this point, we are reaching to the maximum delta T, structure becomes finer and finer. So the maximum finest possible structure we can get at this delta T. This is the maximum undercooling at which we get the finest possible structure. So friends, this is the principle behind the important heat treatment we call patenting. What we do here, we quench the sample. We quench the sample and we make it transform at the nose of our TTT curve. So this is our heat treatment. Here complete austenite and at nose it completely transforms to perlite followed by cooling to the room temperature. Here as our structure is perlite, after cooling there is no change in the structure of the, of the metal. Friends, patenting is a heat treatment where we allow our steel to transform at the nose of the TTT curve. So the complete transformation occurs at the nose of the TTT curve. Hence, giving the finest structures, prostite and sorbite. Hence, these finest structures are used in the generation of piano wire. It is one of its application. Friends, I hope you understood the process patenting and we, we should always remember interlamellar spacing is inversely proportional to the cooling until the nose of the TTT curve only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.